Hi, I'm Patu from Free Fincal. Let's talk about the active investing versus passive investing debate a little bit today. Uh, first of all, a video after a long time. It's not because I've abandoned YouTube in favor of podcasts. It's just because my schedule has changed. I have to fit in my schedule with that of my son's schedule to find some time to squeeze in and uh, that's not uh, been uh, easy. Also, I am uh, suffering a little bit from what YouTube called as uh, creator fatigue uh, so uh, probably it's because of that as well but i'll try to be uh, you know reasonably regular from now on you can um, post questions on any topic that you would like me to talk about in the comment section so a lot has been made about the uh, active versus passive debate and uh, active funds uh, are still popular in india but at the same time index funds have surged ETFs and index funds have surged in popularity uh, in the recent times and a lot of new in, uh, passive funds have come on the horizon. Now the data is quite clear that there can be no dispute about the data. The data is very clear that whether it is large cap, mid cap or small cap, I have shown repeatedly that typically that if you choose the right benchmark, typically only about half of the category uh, it manages to beat the benchmark and that is in the mid cap and small cap categories in the large cap things are uh, even worse than that and i'm talking about comparing um, a small cap fund with a mid cap index not a small cap index it's very easy to beat a small cap index but most small cap funds actively manage small cap funds uh, struggle to beat a mid cap index now so that 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 part of it is clear so i'm not going to uh, opine or debate on the data again but the point is that we must appreciate that ultimately it's a choice and it is not the most important choice. When it comes to portfolio creation and portfolio management, it is process first and then products. So when it comes to active versus passive, it is a debate about a product category, right? Not the actual product, but the product category. And that is the um step before the last and there are other steps before that which are far more important you need to have a clear goal because that will determine the kind of risk you can take your risk appetite is not of relevance but the actual risk that is suitable for the goal profile is of uh, more uh, importance so uh, when you need the money uh, will determine your asset allocation what is the kind of inflation you're looking at how reasonable is that what is the kind of uh, de-risking plan that you have if it is a long-term goal what are your, what is your asset allocation schedule how are you going to vary the asset allocation in future years taking all this into account you come up with a target corpus and a, um, investment schedule each month then you worry about products product types and finally products that's the process you can't simply say that I have uh, started investing in uh, UTI Nifty 50 and my portfolio management is done. That's not how it works. Now, my view is, yes, the data is clear and it, it obviously makes a lot of sense for at least young earners to invest in passive funds because they don't have to go through the kind of uh, difficulties that we did worrying about fund manager performance, star rating, fall, etc, etc. So that much is clear and that also is, in my opinion, uh, beyond debate but ultimately whether a person chooses active funds or passive funds is a choice and it's absolutely fine if somebody says I prefer active funds but if that person says I prefer active funds because I'm sure my fund choices will uh, beat the market in future or I'm sure active funds will do well in this category that category etc then that is foolish thinking in my opinion. Nobody can predict the future, whether it is with respect to active investing or passive investing. But we must appreciate that we cannot hope to invest in the best choice there is or the best kind of product. That is not possible. You can't select the best route now. You have to, uh, you know, take a leap of faith and go in one path in which you have conviction. If that path is the active path, that's fine. If that path is the passive path, that's fine. It, all that matters is at the end of the day, 
we have enough money for our future goals who cares whether we choose active funds or passive funds that is uh, that is actually a very tertiary argument i mean once you get the basics right once you get the foundations of portfolio management right product choices are secondary of course there are innate advantages of choosing passive funds because you don't have to worry about fund manager risk fund underperforming and so on you can uh, look at other things that much is fine but we must still appreciate that human beings cannot be told to choose only this option or that option they will rebel and it's it's absolutely fine to choose something else but whether somebody chooses active funds or passive funds they cannot be under the notion that they have chosen the best uh, uh you know product or best route that i think is immature i think all, there are many ways to go from a to b active is one passive is one you just choose what works for you do you have the conviction uh whether this will work or that will work that is what is more important more of more than what the data says or what x says or y says the question is do you have the conviction